my god how's it going everyone and welcome to a spicy geometry dash video the geometry dash community last week has seen some crazy things in terms of demons being verified top one demons being verified we got Slaughterhouse that was verified by Space UK. Link is in the description. Go support him. Uh, we also had this week, right after that, Firework being verified by Trick GMD, which link is also in the description. Go support these people because they put so much time and effort into the completions of these levels. And also a couple months ago, Arcturus was verified, which I sent that for a star rate uh, when it did come out. And these are all levels that are supposed to dethrone Tartarus as the number one top hardest level in the game, which is pretty nuts. These levels have all been verified within a couple months of each other, but what makes this week so crazy? Well, this is what makes it so crazy. If you go to search and you go to awarded star, the recent levels that were awarded star rating, there's Devil's Tomb Yard, cool. And then Arcturus Slaughterhouse and Firework were all raided at the exact same time by Rob Top. That is crazy. That's just boom. That's absolutely bananas because these are all levels that are supposed to dethrone Tartarus. And at the exact same time, just bam, bam, bam. So the people that work for the demons list, they're going to have uh, they're going to be really busy because it, it's not just a matter of these levels being raided and then, oh, we'll just throw them above Tartarus somewhere. There needs to be careful deliberation of where which one out of these three is the top one which one is actually the hardest there's got to be a lot of discussion so it's probably going to take a little while which one is the longest like maybe there's harder parts in slaughterhouse but it's shorter than firework firework is much longer so overall which one is the hardest there's gonna be so much discussion and also are these in fact harder than tartarus I mean, sure, like at first glance, I know some of them, you know, Slaughterhouse was insanely hard. And I've only practiced a little bit of Tartarus, so I can't really like speak for how difficult it was because I'm just I'm just not that good at the game to be able to decide that. Right. Even if I did all these levels in practice mode, I, you know, clearly will not be doing runs of these levels. And so I, I don't know. I don't know how hard these would be in comparison to one another. Um, only the top players would be able to deliberate that, right? It's a pretty eventful week, and I gotta say, it's it's pretty nuts. It's it's exciting. It's really exciting um, because Tartarus has been the number one top demon for quite a long time, for over a year. It's pretty nuts that Tartarus is about to be uh, dethroned. Arcturus, Slaughterhouse, and Firework. Now, the interesting thing about these levels is they weren't featured. They were star rated. So if you look at it, there's no yellow circle around the extreme demon mark, which means they have like an official, like just bare seal of approval from Rob Top to say, OK, I I support this a little bit. Right. <laughs> but they're not featured, which, hmm, you know, like it, it's an interesting discussion. Do these levels are to slaughterhouse and firework? Should they be featured right now? A lot of people will say, let's you know, well, let's bring up the YouTubes. So I'm going to bring up a uh, a Tartarus completion. We're going to take a look and give it like a, a look over to see how difficult it looks and also just how good it looks. So let's let's go, let's go take a look at this. This is the video by Dolphy. So this was January 7th, 2020. So Tartarus was verified almost two years ago. Um, Yeah, it's been like over a year and a half. It's like a year and three quarters around. So this is Tartarus right here. Now, a lot of people... <laughs> A lot of people say Tartarus looks really good. Now, I guess this is an older level. It was supposed to be like an old hardest level that was on the back burner for a long time. And it looks, it looks okay for its time, you know, but it doesn't look, th this is, oh God, this is, this is going to be a hot take. It looks okay. In my mind, it looks okay. Um, but the thing is, is Tartarus is featured. It, it's a featured level. And so why would this be featured, but the other ones like Firework, uh, Slaughterhouse? I mean, this this part kind of looks cool. You got to admit, this part, this part kind of looks cool. Okay, I, I, I dig that for sure. But there are parts in Slaughterhouse that look good. There are parts in Slaughterhouse that look good. 
Um, I haven't seen all of Firework. We are going to check out a video. We are going to check out the verification of Firework uh, in this video. I'm actually not even going to be doing any playing in this video. I'm just going to be checking out other videos, which is a link to all these videos are going to be in the description. So go and support uh, the creators and the people that are so amazing at this game to be able to do insane feats like this. But I'm looking at Tartarus. And like, don't get me wrong, it has a charm to it. It has an old charm, like an old 1.9 charm. And I do like that as a player from that time. Um, but for some reason for me, I think to myself, like, why would a level like this get a feature? But why wouldn't some of these uh, other newer, like top ones get a feature when I think they look uh, as so, good, you know? So. Anyways, impressive, Tartarus. Holy crap, that looks so hard. <laughs> the flying in that is insanely tight. It looks really, really hard. So let's take a look at something like uh, Slaughterhouse uh, that was verified by Space UK. Once again, I'm going to recommend you check out the original video because I, I don't make many videos like this, like commentary videos where I watch other videos and react to them. And uh, I feel like I want to support the people that put in so much effort into these levels. Slaughterhouse is a recent top one extreme demon. I made a whole entire video on it. It took Space UK. Uh, like 40 something K attempts, which is extremely low for a new top one demon. Space UK is a god at this game. So let's let's take a look at the Slaughterhouse verification. It looks good, you know? I think I think Slaughterhouse, uh, even though like standards are changing, and even like in the in a couple years' time since Tardis was verified, standards have still been increasing and levels have been scrutinized even more so. Uh so I I kind of get it, but at the same time, like compared to Tartarus, I think they look similar in quality, you know? So have standards in the past two years just risen so much? Well, then again, there are parts like this that look really plain. So, hmm, but there is the moving in the background. There's the art. And then, you know, there, there's some parts that look really good. That looks amazing, that part right there. So I do get it. There is some inconsistent quality. Man, this is like Slaughterhouse. I don't know how... <laughs> How do people do these things? This looks so hard. <laughs> this part looks good. This part looks good too, you know? So, so my question to you guys is, I don't want to talk about this all video, by the way. It was just, this was kind of just a small thing I wanted to talk about. Is these these levels, these new upcoming top one demons, they all, they all got a star rate. They didn't get an actual feature. Do you guys think some of these levels should have been featured? Like, I think personally, after seeing, I've seen Arcturus, uh, I've seen Slaughterhouse and I've I've seen bits of Firework, but I haven't spoiled myself. We're gonna watch it soon. I think Slaughterhouse is maybe maybe uh, a feature, you know. But 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 it's also one of those levels I'm kind of on the fence on because some parts are pretty plain, right? What do you guys think? I don't want to talk about this all video, but what do you guys think about that? I think that's one important thing to talk about when it comes to all of these only being star rated. You know, it's awesome that they're all star rated though, which makes them official, which makes them able to place on the demons list for sure. And mad props to Rob Top for, for doing that all at once. Uh, but what do you guys think about that? It's it's an interesting topic to discuss because there's I don't think there's any right or wrong answer. It's definitely a gray area. Even though Tartarus, when I look at it, like that looks old. Old doesn't necessarily have to be bad. It's good for an old level, but it's like got this overall consistency of quality. Like the whole thing from front to back is like that same quality. Whereas Slaughterhouse, it was a little more inconsistent. So I, I kind of get the star rate. But do you guys think it should have been featured? Anyways, that's Slaughterhouse. If you want to see more of me playing Slaughterhouse, there's, there's a video. I did my previous video. Go check it out. So the next one we're going to check out is Arcturus, which was uh, the levels by MaxFS and it was verified by Ultra Kawa HD. Go check out that video. Go support uh, the video and the creator. Go sub to their channel. Link is in the description down below. This also is supposed to dethrone a Tartarus. Some people say out of the new top three that were uh, verified, Arcturus is the easier one. Which, by the way, when I say easier one, we don't mean easy as in easy. It's, these are all extremely difficult and very, very hard. Um, some people say this might be easier than Tartarus, but when I'm looking at like the precision required, especially in the waving, man, I gotta say, in a lot of these extreme demons that were verified, especially Arcturus and... Uh, slaughterhouse, I noticed that, like, the flying, of course, looks very extremely hard and technical, but as someone who's good at flying, um, you know, not good enough to do these levels, clearly, but as someone who's good at flying, I look at the ship and I go, man, that's really tight, but it looks possible. When I look at the wave, I think to myself, that looks actually impossible. Like, there's no possible way I would do these tight wave sections. I couldn't do them physically, no matter how hard I tried. 
But the ship parts, I could, with practice, I could probably do them. Man, I, I feel like these wave parts, especially in, in Slaughterhouse and Arcturus, uh, we're going to check out Firework. I haven't, I haven't seen much of it, um, are the parts that make this these like super insanely hard. Um, but what do you guys think about that? Like from looking at both these levels, I haven't practiced Arcturus, but from looking at it visually and kind of inspecting as, as well as I can with just my eyes and not actually playing, I do think that Slaughterhouse looks a little bit harder. I mean, these are all extremely hard. But what do you guys think about that? I think Arcturus, very huge achievement. Um, but I'm just trying to get a, a gauge of what I think, like, the top three is actually going to look like. Like, I'm trying to predict, you know? This isn't... I'm not trying to undercut anyone's uh, achievements or anything. I'm just trying to think, um, what's the new top three going to look like? A better question would be, what's the top four going to look like? Are these levels all going to dethrone Tartarus? Is Arcturus harder than Tartarus? Is Arcturus going to be the third hardest, second hardest? Is only one of these going to actually dethrone after some people have some time with them and play them? It's going to be interesting uh, just seeing how difficult these levels actually hold up to the current hardest uh, demon in the game. So the next one, Firework, which was verified uh, by Trick and created by a lot of creators, which if you check out the video that I'll link in the description, Trick's uh, completion and verification of it, uh, you can see who all was involved there, but I will just link to Trick's video. So go subscribe to Trick and check out uh, this video and give it some support as well. Uh, that would be much appreciated because, uh, you know, I'm clearly using them in my own content and I feel kind of guilty about that. So Firework is the one that just got verified the most recently. So I'm going to be checking out the entirety of this verification video. I'm just going to be talking over it. Uh, I think... Over 200k attempts, that's, I mean, that is some serious dedication. I think Arcturus was 110k. I'm pretty sure it was around 110k. So this one, though, Trick's been working on this level for a while, you know. Firework has been in the works. Um, I think, like, the earliest I heard about Firework was a year ago, last January. It's It's been a while since, uh, you know, news of, like, Fireworks verification has been spreading through the community. So this has been a really long time coming, a really long verification, and uh, it's it's going to be exciting seeing this level in its completion because I haven't seen this level in its entirety. Whoa. Hey, yo. What? 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 There's a story to that, isn't there? All right, here we go. So uh, this is this firework itself. So, geez, man, those timings like. That is so tight, some of those time And the waving? Oh, man, see, it's the waving that gets me, you know? Like, timings, even, like, super tight timings, you know, I can get eventually, like, clearly not consistent enough to be able to do a level like this. But times I can get, but that waving, man, between those spikes and those tight sections, that is really, really hard. Oh, man. Yeah, this looks... Wow. I like it how it waves to the song. It's, it's pretty cool. Dude, and the duel, too. Looks like you need to balance, like, the, the flying to perfection, almost. Wow, man. And, like, you see those uh, translucent spikes that it's going through? Like, some of those corridors are so tight with those timings, man. And there's a lot of them. Like, you're clicking the click, 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 click. You're clicking them so fast and so precise. That's... Man, the skill level in this game is absurd. And this one, for sure, like, I think the other levels would have been done by now, Arcturus and Slaughterhouse. This one is for sure the longest. And it looks like it's just this consistent, insanely hard difficulty. Oh, you guys see how tight that is? Oh my god. That looks like something out of a challenge. Like, I could do this, like, two seconds of this level, maybe. And I'd be so proud of myself for doing two seconds of this level. My goodness, I would be. That's insane. Wow. I just, see, I don't even know if I want to do a practice run of this level because it's going to be so frustrating and it would make me feel so bad at this game. And look at that flying. You can't hit any of those orbs. Like, you literally have to push the button in between those orbs. That's so crazy, man. That's so crazy. I'm just... And then, like, getting this far into the level and then doing all these crazy timings with all the stress after you get through that crazy flying section. I just... Man, I can't even... I can't even imagine. And then this is so tight, too. That's so stress, dude. That's so stressful. Nice. Dude, GG's, man. That's bananas. Dude, go go subscribe to Trick. Support this video. That's insane. So these levels, Arcturus, Slaughterhouse, and Firework, all 
star rated at the same time. Uh, I, I bring the question to you guys now. I ask you, what order do you think that's actually going to place on the uh, on the demons list now that you've seen them? Uh, I think me, as well as a lot of you, most of you anyways, are, uh, you know, we are not good enough to beat levels like this. It takes a particular uh, skill set to be able to beat levels like this and a skill set and dedication, right? Like hundreds of thousands of attempts, which is like months and months and months of work which I don't. <laughs> Two months for Artificial Ascent, like that's as much work as I want to put into a level. I'm not, something beyond two months? No, no thanks, you know, too crazy for me. And at my age, I hate to bring the age thing up because a lot of people say, oh, age is this number, you can do it at any age. You're still young, you're only 35. But I mean, even at 35, like your, uh, you know, your reaction time, it starts to just a little bit, just to slow down a little bit. Like I'm not, I'm still good at this game, right? But my learning has slowed down a little bit. Like the plasticity of my brain is not what it used to be like when you're younger your plasticity it's your brain is more malleable for learning and you can learn things quicker for me it would just take so long and take so much dedication maybe if this took months for some people it'll take years upon years for me i don't know i'm i'm okay um i am i i'm a mad supporter of people that are able to do levels like these and i love to see it and i will forever support uh like this video i i hope will help to support these uh, uh these verifiers and creators of the levels you know get more even more support which i don't think they really need my help because these are immensely popular levels but i do enjoy supporting this part of the community the skill ceiling part of the community i think it's fascinating to watch this and i've been around in the community for a long time I've seen, like, I didn't see it, but I was around when Bloodbath got verified, and I was there to some of the streams when Trusted was verifying Yata Garasu, you know? Uh, Sonic's doing Sonic Wave. I didn't see a lot of these live because it's hard for me to see these live when I'm living in Korea. Uh, time zones and all that. But I have been ar around in the community, and I've seen the, you know, the skill ceiling increase, and it's absolutely fascinating. And uh, how I looked at, like, Bloodbath in 2015, like I looked at that level as impossible. Like there's no way I was ever going to be able to do it. And that's how I look at these levels right now. And I have done blood blast. Not saying I'm actually going to go and do these levels because I'm not. But uh, it's interesting how even though sometimes we think that the skill ceiling will never be broken, like something like Tartarus, you know, was very difficult and like players like me, like, OK, impossible. I'll never try that. And even like amazing players like Aeon, you know, he has beaten Rust, which is a top 20 demon in the game, looks at these levels and goes, no way, bro. <laughs> right? Which is insane because Aeon's amazing at the game. So the skill ceiling is has increased again, which just blows my mind. Like, how long do you think these levels are going to be the top one? Are there going to be levels that are going to dethrone these? I mean, I imagine so, but like when, you know, and is the skill ceiling going to continue to increase or are we are we close to the skill ceiling? Do you guys think we're close to the skill ceiling? Like, these levels seem very inhuman to me. Like those wave patterns in some of the levels, some of the flying, I do some of the timings, like the timings and firework, they seem absolutely inhuman to me, right? Just how much further do you think people are gonna be able to push this game? Is the game gonna stagnate because it's gonna take longer and longer to push past the skill ceiling? But possibly not because, you know, Bloodbath was a top one for a long time. And then what was it? I mean, it was Sonic Wave was for a very long time. I think Sonic Wave was the longest maybe until bloodlust uh, I'm, I'm not too sure my history kind of eludes me a little bit um but there have been some levels that have been let her like i don't want to say easily beaten but are beaten by a lot of people now that seemed out of people's grasp for you know a very very long time right so i wonder how much further is this game going to be pushed what do you guys think so my guess for how these are going to be rated in the uh top four i should say with tartarus I personally think after looking at all of these, this is, by the way, a completely uneducated guess because I am not good enough. It looks like Firework because of its length and its insane difficulty, I think is going to be placed at number one. Although in very close second, I think it's going to be Slaughterhouse. And then in a very close third, I think it's going to be, man, it, it is really hard to say. I, I look at Arcturus and I look at Tartarus and I feel like they're so similar. Like it looks like they're similar in uh, difficulty. But once again, I'm not good enough at the game to be able to dictate that. So for third and fourth, I think Tartarus and Arcturus, it's too close for me to decide. I do think it's going to be Fireworks, Slaughterhouse, and then Arcturus and Tartarus is third and fourth somewhere. 
Um, but that's just my guess. And what do I know? Okay, I'm just guessing for the funsies. That's it. It's don't take this like seriously. Like I'm not a part of the demons list. I'm not nearly as good as any of those people that control it. Just a guess. What do you guys think the order is going to be? I'd like to know in the comment section. I'd like to see uh, your opinions. And clearly, much like mine, it's going to be kind of an un uneducated guess because we could only really watch these levels and we're never going to complete them anytime soon. Uh, but just for fun, what do you guys think it's going to be? Anyways, this is a big deal in the Geometry Dash community. Whenever someone verifies like a new top difficulty level, it's always very exciting. And in this case, it wasn't just one. There's three which I don't think has ever happened before. Like, this is a very unique event in the community, having three top ones, three potential top ones verified at the same time. Or, sorry, uh, rated at the same time, I should say. Although they were verified fairly close to one another within all within, like, two and a half months, right? That's very exciting. Uh, wow. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's not a normal video. I just talked about Geometry Dash. I never do that. That if you guys want to see me talk more about the game, you know, I'd love to make more videos like this. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that I don't get a chance to talk about. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comment section. Pretty, uh, it was pretty fun to do. I'll see you in the next one. As always, peace.